Welcome back. Um, in this video, uh, I'm going to start a series of video on Cambridge International Exams of all level. And these questions have been taken from October, November 2006 paper. And uh, the interesting thing is, we are not allowed electronic calculator, nor mathematical tables may be used in this paper. So we have to use a pen and pencil, a pen and paper. Okay, the traditional way, and that's something very good for students. Okay, so let's get started. The first question is evaluate. Evaluate means you have to find the value. Evaluate means find the value. Okay, they're asking you what's the value of this expression. So to simplify this or to find the value of this, we are we have to use the bed mass rule. Okay, bed mass or bed mass rule is a rule for the order of operation. In maths, this is the order. Whenever you have it, start with a bracket, then you got an exponent. I'll not go not going to exponent, you know, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So here you've got addition, multiplication, and subtraction and a bracket. So always start with the bracket. So we have taken this first. So this is three plus two times this bracket means times two times four take away one sorry four take away five is negative one then you have got addition multiplication you got this addition and your multiplication so you have to do multiplication first you can't add and multiply you have to multiply and add so this is three plus two times negative one is negative two and 3 plus negative 2 is same as 3 take away 2 or 3 minus 2, which is 1. So this is your answer. Okay, question number 2 or 1b. This is 1 and 1 third. So that is 1 is 1 whole is 3 thirds. <clears throat> so this is 3 thirds and, and a third, which is 4 thirds divided by 2 2 is 4 halves, okay, 2 is 4 halves, so this is 4 halves and a half, which is 5 half. Now when you change, you can change this division to multiplication, for which you have to swap this number over. So what do I mean? So this means this is 4 thirds times 2 fifths, so 5 which was in the numerator goes to the denominator and 2 which is in the denominator goes to the numerator. I'll explain why later. Now here you have to simply multiply the top numbers which is the numerator. So you go 4 times 2 over 3 times 5 just like that. So this is 8 out of 15. Now this is where I need to explain why this number swaps over. Suppose multiplication and addition so division and uh, multiplication are opposite of each other. So when you change the division to multiplication, you have to swap the number over. And if you change, if you want to change the multiplication to division, also the same thing. I'll give you an example. Suppose this is an example. Say 6 divided by 2. You know the answer is 3. The same thing can be, this 2 is 2 over 1, okay, this number 2, any number in maths has a numerator and a denominator. So 6 can also be written as 6 over 1, okay, okay, for the sake of reason, for the sake of writing, you can write this as 6 over 1. So 6 over 1 divided by 2, this is the same as 6 divided by 2, can be written as 6 times half, okay. So this is 6 times 1 over 1 times 2, which is 6 divided by 2. The same thing, which is 3. Okay. Okay, so let me give you one more example. Suppose, what is, say, uh, say 6 divided by, sorry, 6 times 2. Oh, let me use, suppose, 5 times 2. You know 5 times 2 is 10. If you want to change this into division, this is 5 divided by half. 5 divided by half. See, 5 times 2 is 10. 
phi divided by half means you're asking the question phi can be divided into how many halves so you know one can be divided into two halves so phi can be divided into ten halves so this is also ten i hope you understand the logic here okay uh, empty tin is 330 grams when filled with powder the total mass is 2.10 find the mass in kilograms so I'm going to change first you can do it in different ways but I think it's easier to change this into grams and then so you should know this fact one kilogram kilo stands for thousand is 1000 grams okay this is uh, something that basic fact you should know so 330 plus 2.10 kg is 2.10, you don't need to write 0, times 1000, okay? So this is same as 210 divided by 100 times 1000. So this 0 and the zeros can cancel, so this is 2100 grams you can do this directly so two gram two kilograms this is same as 2.1 kg okay this is same as 2.1 kg and 2 kg is 2000 gram and 0.1 kg is 100 grams so now you have to take away 300 330 grams so how will we do this so this is <clears throat> i'll go first 200 2100 take away 300 grams so that I know is 1,800 grams, and then I have to take away the 30 grams, <coughs> which is 1,770 grams, and that I can write as kilogram. That is one point. When you divide this by thousand, this is 1.77 kgs. Okay, so the weight of the powder is 1.77 kg. <coughs> And how can you check your answer? 1.77 plus 0 0.33. 0 0.33. If you add this up, so this is 10, 1.0. So that's right. So this is this is in kgs. This is also in kgs. So this is this is the weight of the powder. This is the weight of the tin expressed in kgs. Okay, I'll finish with this question. 2.45 hour in minutes now this is where most of you can go wrong you know 2 r 1 r okay you should know this 1 r is 60 minutes okay so 2 r would be 60 times 2 is 120 minutes okay <clears throat> now you got 0.45 hour Okay, 0.45 R is, you have to multiply by 60, not 100. So this is 0 0.45 times 60 minutes. Okay, so this is, this is 45 out of 100 times 60 over 1. So this is 4, 000, uh, 45 times 60 over 100. Okay, so 5. I'm, I'm dividing both by 5. So 5 goes in 45 9 times, 5 goes in 10 2 times. Then 2 goes in 2 once, and 2 goes in 6 3 times. Am I right? 5 9, yeah. So this is 27 minutes. Okay, so <clears throat> 27 minutes. So yeah, that's right. So this final answer would be 120. 120 minutes plus 27 minutes which is 147 minutes see you in the next video